So far in the examples, you've seen me shoot with a white acrylic base background. Now in the USA, white acrylic is called uh, macrolon or plexiglass. This is a matte version, but we're not restricted to using white matte acrylic. We can use and choose from a number of different backgrounds. Here I've got a pink matte acrylic and then uh, a black, a white gloss, and a wood and of course you can also use v-flat world's duo boards as backgrounds too so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a product shot with the light cone showing you a before and after here again we can see how terrible the lighting looks in that instance we'll bring the light cone into position shoot that shot and now we've got a really nicely lit image of those products but now i'm going to change the background out just to prove that we can use the light cone with any background. Let's try a black. When shooting through a light cone, we're often shooting in a top-down position or at a slight angle. And as such, you may find that you want to actually angle or elevate your products. For example, we can stick a product on top of a small block if we want to create a softer shadow under the product when we're using the light cone. We can also use angled blocks. So for example, if you wanted to photograph this at a slight angle, then you can use a block that will angle the product slightly, keeping one side of it off the ground higher than the other. You can also directly attach blue tack or white tack to the product to fix it in position and get it to stay stable at the required angle. Now, you can even get more creative than that by using the light cone in a vertical position to allow you to photograph objects that can only be taken in their vertical format because they may have liquid or something else inside. So whatever product it is you're shooting, just a little bit of creative thinking with different platforms, blocks and blue tack, and you can usually overcome the problem of positioning your product.